I've been wanting to make this one for the longest time. It's been brewing in my mind and today is our day. We're gonna be taking a look at some poses from a different angle. It will be a very chill session, which I love. Don't let that deceive you. Just because something's relaxing doesn't mean it's not super effective and deep because it will be both. I'm gonna be using a block, which I'm gonna put underneath my sacrum. If you don't have a block, you could probably substitute with a firm bolster, potentially even a foam roller. So go ahead and grab one of those three things. Meet me on your mat and let's see what we find. First things first, we're gonna set up on the ground. Just kinda get you into your body. So go ahead and get comfy with me. For those of you who wonder why I always put a block underneath my head, the smaller blocks are really good for cervical alignment of your neck. So keep that in mind when you're out and about in the store, if you see a small block, it's good to have a second one that is smaller. I want you to bring your feet in to hip distance and we're just gonna do a couple pelvic tilts to warm up. I want you to inhale, arch your back, press the sacrum into the floor, and on the exhale, you're gonna flatten your back, even curl the tailbone up there if you want. Back and forth between the two. Inhale, arch. Exhale, tuck. And you might have done this with me before or someone else, I didn't invent it. We're gonna try the pelvic clock exercise. So I want you to imagine you have a clock resting right here on your pelvis. Exhale, down, flattening the back will make that 12. And I want you to begin to shift to the number three, lifting one hip but pressing the other one down. Arch to six, over to nine, and back to 12. So essentially we're trying to trace all the way around that clock. Try to move nice and slow. Don't rush the movement. And this is just to release the low back, just beginning to warm up. Reverse the direction, spinning around. Give me one more, nice and slow. And then when you reach that 12, go ahead and let the knees tent in, feet wide, relax into the floor, take a breath in, let it go. All of us have stress in our day, in our life, in our body. I want you to just focus on working here with me. One more breath in, side out. All right, let's get ready to work. If you have anything underneath your head, you're gonna remove it. And we're gonna take that block, bolster, foam roller, and we're gonna put it underneath our sacrum. So essentially, we're creating that restorative bridge position. And this should be nice and comfy. You should feel completely supported. We're gonna be working from here the whole time, which also is really good for your parasympathetic system, your relaxing mechanism. And you can glance over, but for the most part, I want you to keep your attention more towards the ceiling, not moving the head right or left, if you can help it. From here, pull the knees into the chest and that edge of the block is just kind of, kind of press on your low back. From here, I want you to focus on just enhancing your breath and the awareness of it. Try to breathe in full. And at the top of the inhale, really let the top of your lungs press into the ground. And exhale it out. Get real heavy into compression. One more time. Push through that rib cage on your breath in. Let it go.
And I want you to float. Let's take the right foot down. First thing we're gonna do is extend this left leg up. Now come to what feels like an edge. I realize we're probably super tight here. We haven't done anything yet. So come to what feels like a little edge. Just starting to feel that gentle pull across the back of the leg. Holding on the back of the thigh or the calf, depending on flexibility. And I want you to start a little point and flex as if to try to floss the back of the leg here. One of the reasons we're using the block is because with this uh, little tilt and the orientation of the pelvis, we could probably find a lot deeper sensation in our expressions just by using the block to our advantage. Give me one more. Flex and hold. And I want you to gently push the leg into your hands and make sure you're not crunching your hip. So extend the left hip away because it will hike up and feel what is a stretching through the entire back of the leg. Let's do a little bit of contract and release. So I want you to push into your hands with a flexed foot. Breathe in. Point the toe and use your hands to bring the leg closer. Now you're gonna flex and hold. You're pushing into your hands. Watch that hip crease, push it away. Point and pull toward you. Last time, flex. You're pushing into your hands. Point and pull. Push that hip away. I could feel mine wanting to hike up. And just to begin that conversation on the right, I want you to try to extend the leg. You can squeeze that quad, point the toe. And I want you to try to drive your sacrum into the block, right? So I want you to push the leg into your hands, push the sacrum down, and imagine trying to get that heel to the floor. Breathe in, nice and slow with the exhale, pull the knees into your chest and you can just grab on. Try a little gentle side to side rock here, just using the edge of the block against your low back. And feet down. Sometimes my block gets a little away from me on that. So come back to what feels like neutral. Hmm. Pull the right knee in and extend. Yes, we're gonna go right to our second side here. So just give me your point and flex to start. Flex and hold, right? I can feel my body wanting to cheat this. So make sure we're pushing away through this right hip and give it that gentle pressure. Leg into hands. Try to notice your tighter side. Add a couple more points and flexes. And let's take that press and pull technique. So I want you to flex that foot. Push the leg into your hands. Nice and strong, sacrum into block. Point the toe, relax and pull. Try to bring it closer. Flex and hold, you're pushing away. And point, you're pulling towards. Watch that right hip. Last time, I want you to flex, 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 push. And point. Pick up that left foot and get ready for your reach. I'm gonna extend in opposite directions, pushing down through that heel, squeezing your quad. So here I'm gonna use that block. I'm gonna push the sacrum down drive the right hip crease away and heel to floor so really work through 
the back of that right leg. Both knees into the chest. <sighs> Give it a little rock. And let's reset. You're gonna come back into your restorative bridge. Adjust if you feel as if you've moved. <sighs> I could do this sequence every night. I'm gonna pull my left leg in, grabbing on, and I'm going to begin to extend my right leg. So this pose is determined by where we want this left knee. So see how I can kind of teeter on my block here? I like to keep my right leg very passive so the knee will be bent and the heel resting on the floor. So wherever that is for me, to where I could feel as if I'm stretching or tractioning through my hip flexors on this right side. So I'm gonna look for my edge. Feels like a little elastic band in there. And it's okay to lift the heel and let it hang in traction. If your heel is touching the floor, what I recommend is think of pushing the heel down into the floor and sliding it away from you. Once you're there, if you feel like you can go deeper, play with your left side. So I'm gonna crunch my left hip up and pull my knee to the side. So the more I'm contracting and pulling out through my left, the more I'm gonna to begin to feel this down my right. I could feel it weaving through my pelvis and believe it or not, into my low back. So, especially if it's the first time you're here, Explore, move, find something new. Breathing in. Exhale, draw the navel to the spine. Good, take a breath, keep pulling. And begin to relax, come back to center. I'm gonna take that left ankle to my upper right. Here's where I typically might need to adjust on that block a little. Pigeon expression, so figure four, I'm gonna weave through that little triangle, grabbing somewhere behind the thigh or the calf. And now I'm gonna to try to do that same press of the sacrum, pushing it towards the block and try to drive that left knee away. You can even flex the foot here and push the ankle into the upper leg, so left pushing into right. Good micro movements. Try to find that outer hip. And release. Let's come back down to neutral, resetting on our block. Make sure you're in a good place. Second side, pull the right knee in. Remember, this is kind of like a Goldilocks moment for you to find just the right spot. I'm gonna slide long with the left and I'm gonna find what feels like my edge. For me, it is a press down with the heel I'm gonna find that initial stretch through the hip flexors, front of the pelvis. Then if you want to, right, I'm going to tuck in. This is gonna give more pull on that left side and knee across, so knee further to the right. As I try to dig the heel down and slide it long on the floor. This is really good if you're stuck sitting all day at a desk, right? So low back pain, tight hip flexors, I've got them both breathing in. 
releasing and you're gonna catch your figure four. From here, I'm just using the block to kind of give me a tilt and I can really focus now on that push. So I'm gonna grab somewhere into my bind, flex that right foot and I want you to push the sacrum down as you drive this knee away. So I'm really focused on rotating out with this knee. Also energetically pushing into your left leg with your ankle will help. And whatever micro movements you want here. So I can still add a gentle rock even coming back and forth a bit here, just kind of looking for what feels like my edge. Also using that low back against the block for a little massage. Give it one more inhale. And exhale, let's release. Place those feet down. We're gonna do a full body stretch here. So I will show you the modification. I'm gonna extend the legs. If you begin to feel low back pain, place your feet as wide as your mat and lift your sternum towards the ceiling to take the compression out of your low back. So the more I kind of puff up, the more I'm gonna transition through that low back and into my upper body. Stretch your arms long. I'm gonna squeeze the muscles of my back to try to arch even further. Tuck the chin into your throat. Breathing in. And on the exhale, you're gonna coil back. Pull the knees into your chest. We've got one more stretch. Some of you are gonna to need to come off your block. Others are going to love this one. So if you have really tight quads, hip flexors, you're probably gonna to wanna to come off your block. I'm gonna show you your modification as soon as I demonstrate the first option. So I'm gonna grab my right since it's uh, closer to you and I'm going to pull the foot underneath, essentially, half of a hero's pose, half virasana. Notice my toes are pointing towards my armpit. That's not pointing out, making some weird shape. So this will be your shape for the block version, the non-block version. You're gonna roll to your side and see if you can grab your right foot, pulling it close to your glute, right? It's also helpful to bend your left knee so you have a little bit of, of a kickstand. Once we're in our poses, I want you to focus on squeezing your glutes and pressing forward. So I'm gonna think of almost trying to press my glutes upwards towards the ceiling as I also push my foot into the floor or alternatively you're pushing into your hand. Keep it out of your low back, right? Draw the navel in, focus on your quad, right? One more breath. And slowly release. I um, would like to stay there much longer. Um, at night, sometimes I will hold that pose for up to five minutes. I don't want our video to be too long so that you can do this uh, more often second side. Remember we want those toes pointing towards that armpit. Don't let the foot turn out or grab that foot. You're gonna squeeze those glutes. I wanna focus on drawing that knee towards the floor, pressing my foot into the ground or into my hand. Find your edge, breathe. Down with that knee. Breathe in. Hmm. 
nice and slow, let it go. Unwinding. Those of you on that block, you're gonna lift up slow, articulate down through the spine. Once you come down, I just want you to end with your pelvic clock. Make some nice big circles around. Reverse. And set your feet as wide as the mat. Let your knees fall in. Take a body scan as you relax into the floor. Take a full breath in. Let it out. Relax. Breathing in, exhale, pull the knees into your chest, take a squeeze, let that help you rock up. Hopefully I've introduced you to some new postures and also seeing some poses from a fresh perspective and how we can find even more in our bodies. I'm truly honored that some of you choose to spend your time with me, thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and give this a like if you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I get to work with you again soon, and until then, namaste.